All right, welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us. Up first, we have Hillary Knight from Team Adidas. Um, so when you have a question, please raise your Zoom hand and we'll call on you. Uh, Justin Levine, you were pretty quick on that, so go ahead. Thank you, Ashley, appreciate it. Hi, Hillary, thank you so much for doing this. Um, so, I mean, we look at the successes of this weekend and it's, you know, it's bigger than the game. So to you, you know, can you talk about how much it meant to you to be on the big stage at Madison Square Garden tonight and let alone that, but score a goal and show young girls, you know, what you can strive to be? Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that these are, are plentiful to come uh, down the road, but I mean, you're talking about the most iconic sport, sports entertainment venue in the world and to be able to lace them up be a part of the first women's professional hockey game on that ice is pretty epic. Um, so a wonderful opportunity to showcase the world, continue to do what the PWHPA does and fill the gap of having a dream of playing at the next level and having a sustainable professional league. So this is just one step along that journey. And I'm hoping that some girl that tuned in tonight feels like she can be here and hopefully we build something by the time she's, she's grown in, in this age to be able to go out there and make a livable wage and, and do her best of uh, pushing the game forward in her own way. Amazing, thank you. Thanks, Justin. Uh, can we get Megan from The Athletic up next, please? Oh, I got the full Megan treatment. Hi, Hillary. Um, I, I have two quick questions for you. One, when Billie Jean King is out there before the game saying, look up at that ceiling because you're about to bust through it. Like, first of all, are you looking up at that ceiling and then what are you thinking as she's saying those words? Well, anytime Billie Jean King walks into a room, you're like, oh my gosh, that's Billie Jean King, that's Billie Jean King. You know, she's just, she's the GOAT. Um, she started all of this for us, the, the biggest movement for women. Um, so to have her have a, have a strong hand in what we're doing and believe in us um, is tremendous. And uh, to also try to fight back the tears when she's giving a pregame speech, because every word she's saying is 100% true. And obviously it, it was a game of hockey, but it meant more than just, just the hockey game. So Wonderful to have Billie Jean King, uh, Women's Sports Foundation involved, and other partners that are continuing to help us bust through that ceiling. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Meg. Can we get uh, Mike Murphy up next, please? Hey, Hillary. Thanks for doing this. Um, we got to enjoy you being mic'd up, and Blake pointed out you kind of ended up calling your own shot. You're talking to Kendall about, you know, you just got to shoot and shoot, and you're kind of riding yourself you know, you got to put pucks on net. And then of course you get that goal. Was it good to kind of get that going there and that offense that woke up a bit in the third period? Yeah, um, obviously every puck on that's a 50-50. And I had, uh, you know, two great, what I thought were great day opportunities and I missed the net and I knew if they hit the net, they're going to go in. So um, you just have to put the pucks to the net and Kelly had a phenomenal setup and, um, you know, even it doesn't matter how it goes in, it just needs to go in, right? So uh, whenever you can have a momentum shift like that, it's extremely important. But obviously we didn't get the win tonight. Um, however, it was a good shift in momentum and it gave us an opportunity to come back into the game. Thanks so much. Could you guys hear all that? That's crazy. I didn't realize it was live. <laughs> uh, could we get Ashley from Women's Hockey Life? Hi, Hillary. Thanks so much for talking with us. Um, what does it mean to you to wear the special edition Willie O'Ree skates on such a historic night for women's hockey? I don't even know how to put it in words. Um, I am ecstatic that I had the opportunity um, to wear the skates and, um, you know, amazing design. Uh, by the guys and big hand in, in celebrating Black History Month. But, um, you know, I hope we can raise a lot of money for the Black Girl Hockey Club because that's what it's all about. That's why I pushed to, to wear the skates as well um, to represent and promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in our sport. So hopefully it, it does a little bit to, to push along the way and push the sport forward, but hopefully we can raise the funds and, and get more, more people signed up for the game and, and make it more accessible to all. Uh, up next, can we get Jared Book from Eyes on Prize? Hi, Hillary. Um, obviously, there, there's so much, you know, things going on behind the scenes with the PWHPA over the last couple of years. Um, obviously, the pandemic as well. How, how, just, how good does it feel just to get back to playing hockey? I mean, it's been so long. Um, how, how, does, how did that just feel? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, 
you know, it's, it's been a long time, right? And we're all each doing our part to be ready for an opportunity when it does present ourself, itself. But um, you can't replicate training together when, when uh, there's a global pandemic going on. So we've done our best to prepare for it. Um, obviously extremely excited. I mean, you don't need a push to get up for your first hockey game in however many months, let alone to play in the garden. Um, but then also to being able to shake the rust off and really settle into the game was a little bit more difficult and challenging. But I thought uh, the, the level of, of talent that we had on the ice was incredible. And we were able to push through um, those barriers of just given what the situation is right now in the world. And, um, you know, whenever we can hop on the ice, it's definitely a special moment. And I think through all this, we've realized how special these moments are to be able to come together as a team safely. Thanks. Uh, Erica from Founding Four Pod, please. Thanks. Hillary, I would like to ask you about what turned out to be a really good game, but, uh, you know, New Hampshire really got things rolling early. What were some of the adjustments that your squad made to be able to, you know, almost get that full comeback? Yeah, you know, we came out flat the last two games. Um, so we're definitely gonna have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how we can get some more energy coming in uh, right after the puck drop. But um, adjustments, we kind of switched the lines up a little bit, um, made our focus a little bit differently. Um, but honestly, it's a 50-50 battle, right? Whenever you don't have the puck. Um, so you need to be able to go out there and, and play a little bit more gritty. So I think we're gonna go back to the drawing board and work on some things and bring that into Chicago. And maybe just as a follow-up, can you maybe point out some of your teammates that you think did uh, exceptionally well making some of those adjustments to, to get you guys within a goal? Yeah, um, I mean, Kendall Coyne, the fastest woman in the world, right? Um, you know, whenever she's got the puck, she's a dominant threat and creates a lot of space. So being able to feed off of her energy is instrumental for any team. Um, she's just one of those special players. We've got Abby Rock, a young talent who can rifle the puck into the net and create plays. You saw that last night. Um, and to be honest, just to have an anchor in Savannah Harmon and Lee Seckline back there. And so, um, you know, we've all been away from, from each other for a long time, but to be able to throw together some shifts like those were pretty incredible uh, given the circumstances. But I'm looking forward to building off of the, that momentum because we've got an incredible squad and uh, this is only just the surface right now. Thanks. Okay, can we get Carol from the New York Times next? Hi, Hillary. Um, a split this weekend between your two teams in your first competitive games in more than a year. Does that help increase the competitive juices going into uh, next weekend in Chicago and then looking further down the road, even uh, as you contemplate world championships and maybe even the Olympics? Yeah, I, I think a split never hurts anyone, right? It just gets everyone riled up a little bit more. But um, you know, we've got the, the secret prize pot on the line. So there's, there's the money incentive, but there's also the pride incentive, right? And we haven't played a game in forever and, um, you know, putting your best foot forward and wanting to win. And, you know, I think everyone can agree that they hate to lose. So uh, this is a very competitive squad. So definitely going to build off of this momentum uh, moving forward to another Minnesota, New Hampshire battle in Chicago. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Jessa Braun up next. Hi, Hillary. Um, so Abby Rocks had quite uh, the weekend um, debuting as a pro hockey player. I'm just wondering uh, what you feel like her potential is um, heading forward in pro hockey and even the national team. I think she's going to be the best player in the world, <laughs> plain and simple. Um, it's incredible to see her develop on a daily basis. And um, yeah, I, I mean, watch out for her. She's the sky's the limit. And uh, when she gets to put it all together and, and get some some time under her belt it's it's gonna be lights out so i'm really excited for her thank you uh can we get david up next hey hillary thanks for doing this uh, i just wanted to know if there was anyone who on the other side of the ice that really stood out to you tonight on the other side of the ice um honestly my my tree friend megan keller <laughs> Uh, she's a phenomenal D, great presence, um, also a huge threat offensively as well. Um, and then Brianna Decker um, got to play with her. I like playing with her more than I like playing against her. But um, yeah, I mean, those two are uh, deep game changers. So you have to watch out whenever they're, they're on the ice. Thank you. All right, we've got time for a couple more questions here. So up first, we'll have Kristen from the Victory Press. 
Hi, Hillary. If I'm not mistaken, excluding international play, the last time we had a post-collegiate women's hockey on national television would have been the 2019 Clarkson Cup, which uh, seems like a moment of great optimism at the time. And obviously, uh, a ton has changed in the women's hockey landscape since then. Being part of the board and seeing all the work that goes in behind the scenes, uh, you know, where do you think we are tonight compared to where we were uh, about two years ago? You know, that's a wonderful question. I'm glad you asked it just because um, I think what the PWHPA is doing and the people who are involved have moved mountains considering a global pandemic has hit us. And to be able to secure valuable partnerships and sponsorships um, when other sports and other industries are losing billions of dollars um, just goes to show that people believe in us, they see the value in us, and they're willing to go forward on this journey with us. So um, really ecstatic. It's a lot of work. We wear many, many hats. There's a handful of people behind the scenes, too many to, to mention. But, um, you know, I think everyone has a very, very strong belief in what we're doing and is very excited about the future. So we're in a wonderful position moving forward. And these, these relationships and this value is only going to continue to grow and flourish. Awesome. Uh, last question for you, Alex from NBC Sports, please. Hey, Hillary. Um, wanted to follow up on Abby Rock. Uh, obviously, you guys have the, the Badger connection, but didn't overlap. And I'm curious just when you first met her, when she came on your radar. Oh, man, years ago, years ago. Um, I remember asking one of our teammates because she was new into camp. And I was like, who's that? And she said, Abby. I'm like, why isn't she on the senior team, right? <laughs> you know, we need to give her the opportunity. But um, sure enough, she, she had an incredible breakthrough last year at the Rivalry Series. Um, but uh, you know, her skill set is just outstanding. And as I said before, when she can put it together, it's, it's going to be lights out. So watch out whoever's on the other side. But um, you know, it's, now it's, it's the responsibility of making sure that we develop the right, the right type of talent and, and give her the right resources so she can put it together. Um, but I think last night was a tribute to what she's capable of doing. So um, many good things to come for her. Great. Thanks so much, Hillary. Thanks, guys.